Welcome to Shiny Tech Things, where we tech things seriously. And on today's Tech Support Tuesday, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to speed up boot times on Windows 10. So let's go ahead and get started. Now it's important to go ahead and create a baseline. So we're going to go ahead and come over to glarysoft.com and download Glary Utilities 5. After installing Glary Utilities 5 and rebooting the machine, it will go ahead and show you here your system boot time, which currently shows uh, 36 seconds. So here you just click on the overview tab and then that gives you your current uh, boot time. So now we're gonna go ahead and click on the start button and type in msconfig and hit return. Now we're gonna go ahead and come on over to the boot tab. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and check this box here to make the boot settings permanent. Then click on advanced select the number of processors and select the maximum amount of processors. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on apply and OK. And next we're going to go ahead and take a look at the services. Now if we go ahead and check this box here, that hides all the Microsoft services. So now you can go ahead and take a look and see everything that is not by Microsoft on your system and go ahead and unselect some of the services that you know that you don't use. So here I'm going to go ahead and just go through my list and uncheck a couple things that I know are completely fine to go ahead and disable from uh, running as a service. And that's just one less thing that ends up running when the computer starts up on boot. Now we're going to go ahead and click on the startup tab and click on open the task manager. So here I'm going to go ahead and with the status go ahead and sort it by enabled. And then if you look over to the right, it actually tells you how much of an impact it has on the system. So I'm going to go ahead and again, just come back through here and disable items that I know that I don't need. And by disabling them, the system will start up a bit faster. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out this window and hit OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and restart the machine and we will see how much of a impact that it makes on the system by making just a couple of these changes. All right, so it went from 36 seconds down to 29 seconds for the boot time. That is not too bad, just from making a couple of these quick and simple changes. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you this is Black Viper's site. And Black Viper, uh, this site's been around for, oh geez, well over a decade. But anyways, uh, if you come and check it out, and the link is in the description below, uh, it basically breaks down all of the different Windows services and what the default configuration is on the different versions of Windows and kind of like how safe or unsafe it is to disable that service. So by going through this, you can really fine tune your system to be able to boot up a lot faster as well. Now, if we also come over here and just open up services.msc, uh, you go ahead and, and hold the Windows key and press the letter R for run and just type in services.msc. So here I'm going to go ahead and open up a service that I know that I do go ahead and need or use, but it doesn't have to actually start directly on boot. It can have what is called a delayed start on boot. So you just double click on it and select uh, for it to be a delayed start. And that's basically it. So that's it for today's video. And if you like this video, go ahead and slap that like button if you're into that kind of thing. And if you didn't like this video, then go ahead and slap that dislike button twice so that we know that you mean it.